Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to 1623 Studios coverage of Gloucester High School football. Game two of the season against the Beverly Panthers here at Hurd Stadium. Last week, Beverly got off to a slow start, getting hammered by Lynn English. They're looking to get back into the win column. And last week, the Fishermen got off to a good start, beating Revere 29 to six. In a game that was a little closer than the score indicated, I'm Phil Nicastro. We'll be back with Gloucester High School football in just a moment. Welcome to Azorian Restaurant and Bar. For over 10 years, we have specialized in Portuguese and Mediterranean cuisine. We feature weekly specials with fresh local seafood, homemade desserts, and extensive wine lists from around the world. So open seating, a private function room, and a large full service bar. You can come right in or call and make a reservation. We're located at 133 Washington Street in Gloucester, Massachusetts, or you can see our full menu at azorianrestaurant.com. Hope to see you soon. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Ben's Wallpaper and Paint, you will experience a level of service you thought no longer existed. We're proud to deliver the kind of specialized attention that you thought no longer existed and simply won't find in larger chain stores. Whether from our full line of Benjamin Moore paint or custom window treatment, you will find what you need at Ben's Wallpaper and Paint at 6 Railroad Avenue here in Gloucester. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television, so they can deliver valuable, local, community-based news, sports, and information about Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center has served Cape Ann families since 1955. We learned long ago that the best way to keep our customers is to provide skilled and friendly services at reasonable prices. Unlike large or chain repair businesses, each of our customers is a very important part of our business. Personal is what makes Cape Ann Television so valuable to our community. That's why we support Cape Ann Television, so that they can deliver valuable community-based news, sports, and information about Cape Ann, which is so important to us all. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. Life can go by pretty fast. One minute you are starting a family, the next you are planning for retirement. That's why it is never too early to start thinking about protecting the wealth you have grown. At Cape Ann Savings, our financial professionals can help you meet any financial challenge you may face. Cape Ann Savings. Life moves fast. Make the best of it. When your kitchen cabinets start showing their age, don't toss them out. Call Paint Pro and make it like new again. The professionals at Paint Pro will refinish and paint your wooden kitchen cabinets for a look you'll be proud of at a fraction of the cost of replacing them. At Paint Pro, we built our reputation and our commitment to providing quality service. I take pride in delivering value through top quality, dependable work with excellent prices and reliable, honest service. Go to the Paint Pro website for more about our services and our satisfied customers. Put new life into your home with Paint Pro. Well, welcome back. I'm Phil Nicastro. On the camera today is John Russ. Lost the High School Football 1623's Studios production of last week. I lost the Beats Revere 29 to 6. And Beverly opened its season at Lynn English and took a beating. So they're 0 and 1, Beverly. And while it's a seven game schedule, going 0 and 2 is not a good thing. So the Panthers, this might be a must win situation for them. Maybe a little early in the season to say that. But you don't want to start 0 and 2 on a seven game schedule. And the Fishermen, on the other hand, 
Week two at Beverly. And a win today could go a long way in determining what the fishermen are going to do this year. Here come the captains now for the coin toss. Mark Smith, Ryan Argentino. Noah Benson and uh, Joseph Shimataro. Shimataro is with on crutches, as you see. So obviously he won't be playing today. But those are the four captains for the fishermen. Shimataro, Benson, Smith. And Argentino. And John Russ. I'm cameraman today. I'm filming the Castro. Kind of an overcast day here in Beverly today. No rain, no sun, but it is warm. Actually, it's a beautiful day to be filming a football game, according to my, my cameraman, John Russ. No glare from the sun. Even light. So, uh... It's looking good for 1623 Studios today. Both teams are uh, doing their pregame ritual. Week two of the high school football season, and it's only a seven game schedule. So, like I said, Beverly, if they go 0 2 today, they're in trouble. Beverly, I believe, has won the toss. Referee didn't give a good very, yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. Beverly did win the toss. Back deep for Beverly is number 11. Ryan Barra. Number eight, Duncan Moreland. Moreland had a big game last week for Beverly in that loss to Lynn English. Number 22 for Gloss will be kicking off. Dalen Locke, junior running back. And we're almost on the way with some football. Gloucester versus Beverly. Here at Hurd Stadium. Locke eyeing it up. He approaches the ball and we are underway. High kick. You see by Beverly at the 20, 25, 30, turns the corner, makes a cut. He's down at the 35, 36 yard line where Beverly will go on offense to start this game. So number 11, the quarterback, Barra. Barra, Ryan Barra, number 11, senior, 6'2", 180. So Gloucester will start this game on defense, which looked very good last week against Revere. All right, here we go. Beverly, they're in a wing tee. Only, only a little different look of it. Hand off up the middle. Good yardage. Number 12 for Beverly. He could go all the way if Mark Smith can't catch him. It's a touchdown for Beverly on the first play of the game. A 63-yard TD run by Clayton McAlpine of Beverly. Making a 67-yard run to start the game. And not a very good way for the fishermen to open up this game. 
a 67-yard TD run to start the game by number 12 for Beverly, Clayton McAlpine, a senior running back, 6'1", 215. They're going to go for one point. Snap ball down, kick is up, and it is... It's good. So the Beverly Panthers make a statement on the first play of the game, a 67-yard TD run. And they lead it 7-0 as the teams hit back upfield. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. We take pride in our ability to anticipate and adapt to the ever-changing terrain of the commercial printing industry. Since our founding in 1922, the Cricket Press, along with our weekly newspaper, the Manchester Cricket, have long valued the importance of local news and information. That is why we support KPAN Television, so they can continue to provide community television programming for the KPAN area. Join, volunteer, support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPAN TV. When this happens to you, there's no need to go to a dealer, whether you're a foreign or a domestic car. We can take care of that right here at Extreme. We have a complete line of snap-on diagnostics specifically made for all your vehicle needs. Bumper to bumper, foreign or domestic, we can take care of it all here at Extreme. Here at Extreme, we guarantee all of our work for you. <laughs> You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Here at the Fitness Zone, we are proud to serve the community that we have been a part of for over 18 years. Here you will find a huge selection of equipment, fitness classes, personal trainers, and a juice bar. We are located at 37 Blackburn Center, right next door to Cape Ann TV. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television. So they can deliver valuable, local, and community-based news and sports from Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. All right, welcome back. And a stunning start to this game. A 67-yard TD run for Beverly. Extra point good, they lead it 7-0. Clayton McAlpine. So it won't take long for the Fishermen to get their offense back out on the field, that's for sure. Back deep for Gloss on number 29. Jacob Enos. Number 23, Nicholas Filo, a Philo. Number 45 at Beverly kicking off, Joey Loretti. It's a low lining kick. Philo picks it up for Gloucester, 25. He takes it up the middle, he's got some room. And he carries it up to the 40 yard line and the Fisherman will start their offensive afternoon in pretty good field position at their own 40. So 7 nothing Beverly with 10. We haven't even played a half a minute yet. With 10.39 remaining in the first quarter. So here come the Fishermen on offense. James Nelson, number 11, the QB. Hand off, Pena Ortiz gains about a yard. Jan Pena Ortiz, he had 128 yards rushing last week. Most of that came in the second half. 
So it brings up a second down and nine. For the fishermen. Hand off, Ortiz again, cuts it up the middle, makes a couple of nice cuts. Gets about seven or eight yards on that play, brings up a third and short for the fish. The ball is on the 49 yard line of Gloucester, and it brings up a third and one. Let's see what Gloucester does here on a third and one. Do they go to the air, or do they keep it on the ground? My guess is they'll keep it on the ground. Nelson to Ortiz, Pena Ortiz, I think he got the first down. He fought, he fought, and he fought, but I think he fought hard enough. Yeah, he got it. Yep, okay, move the sticks. He needed one yard, and that's just exactly what he got. So Pena Ortiz, this drive, three carries, 10 yards. So the ball's right at midfield. First and 10 fishermen at the 50. Seven nothing Beverly. Quick start for the Panthers today. Nelson with a reverse to Smith. And if you don't get out of there, he's in trouble. A loss of 11 yards on that play. And it looked like the Beverly team was really keen on Mark Smith. They were all over him on that play. It's going to bring up a second down and about 19 for the fishermen. Smith checks out. Nicholas Filo checks in. Second down and 19. Nelson scrambling around. And he turns the corner and he gets some yards. And it's going to make it third down in about 13 for Gloucester. Seven nothing Beverly on a one play, 67 yard drive. Hard to call it a drive on one play. <laughs> But that's what it goes in the books as. Okay, 7 0 Beverly. 8 14 remaining. Nelson. Reverse inside, reverse. And Smith breaks away. He might get out of there and he might get the first down. He does. An outstanding run by Mark Smith. He could have been tackled three or four times. That was about a 15-yard pickup for Mark Smith. What a determined run that was by Mr. Smith. That brings up a first and 10 Gloucester at the Beverly 36-yard line. Wow. That was determination at its best for Mark Smith. Nelson calling the signals. Jan Pani Ortiz cuts it up. Big hole. He may take it to the end zone, but there's a flag down. And I think we're going to have a holding on Gloucester. That would have been a first down. And yeah, it's on the fishermen. The body language. It's a holding. Yep. So it's going to make it first down and 20 for Gloucester. So again, the fishermen get set back. Holding against Gloucester. So it's first down, first and 18 at the Beverly 44 yard line. Pena Ortiz finds a big hole, cuts it up the middle, and he gets down to the 31 yard line. It's going to make it a, a very respectable second and six for the fishermen. Make it second and five. Tackle for Beverly. 
Seven and a half minutes left, first quarter. Yeah, second down, five. Second and five from the 31. Make it the, yeah, make it the 31, yeah. And what do we got? We got another penalty on Gloucester. Dead ball foul, false start. It's going to make it second down and 10. So this drive, the fishermen pulling off some big plays, but are getting set back by two penalties and a loss of yardage on another play. Second down and 11 right now. Make it 10, second and 10. Quick hit up the middle to Argentino. And it's going to bring up a third and about six. A gain of about four for Argentino. Ryan Argentino on the carry. Ryan Argentino, number eight. Tackled by Paul Malumba. Paul Malumba on the tackle for Beverly. All right, third down and six. Going to bring up third and five. Third and five for Gloucester. Motion, Nelson throws it out there, and it's picked off, no, it's incomplete. Nelson threw that ball up there, number eight for Beverly, had it in his hands, Duncan Moreland, but he couldn't control it going down. So it's an incomplete pass. It's fourth down and five for the fishermen, and they're gonna go for it. So an early fourth down play for Gloucester, trailing seven nothing. Smith goes in motion, pitch out. Pena Ortiz cuts it up, and it looks like he just got the first down, and the drive will continue, I think. Yep, move the sticks. So the ball is being placed on the 25 yard line at Beverly, first and 10 Glosser as the drive continues. Up and down it goes. Five minutes, 45 seconds remaining, first quarter. Handoff. Pandy Ortiz again. Makes a nice spin move and gets it down to the 15 yard line, maybe the 16. Close to a first down. And they're asking for water down on the field, so we have a uh, timeout on the field with the score, the Beverly Panthers seven. The Gloucester Fisherman nothing. We'll be back in a few minutes. Looking for a shop to fix your car's collision damage? Gloucester Auto Body has over 30 years of experience going on three generations in the business. A state-of-the-art laser measuring system assures 100% correction on unibody frames. And EnviroBase high-performance paint is environmentally friendly and color matching is precise. We're not just collision repair. Gloucester Auto Body is a full-service repair facility. So trust your car to Corrado and Paul at Gloucester Auto Body. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Glover's Floor Covering, for more than 60 years, we have provided our customers with real value in quality carpets, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, vinyl flooring, and ceramic tile. We're involved in the communities we serve and take great pride in our ability to support Cape Ann Television so that they in turn can deliver valuable community-based programming for Cape Ann. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. Volunteer production opportunities are available in all the towns we serve. Get into local TV. Call the station to find out more.
Welcome to Italiano Restaurant and Bar, located in downtown Gloucester. We specialize in classic Italian cuisine, feature fresh local seafood, and pizza made with our own dough daily. We have an extensive wine selection, a beautiful marble bar, and an impressive 12 tap system. And the games are always on. If you're visiting Gloucester, make sure you try Italiano. You can walk in or call and make a reservation, or you can visit our website at italianorestaurantandbar.com. Ciao! You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a warehouse club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card dental savings plan. Your smile will thank you. All right, everybody, welcome back. The fishermen are looking at a second down and about one from the Beverly 16. And what a drive this has been for Gloucester. They've gotten set back three times, but have pulled off some nice plays to keep the drive alive. We're on the way. Argentino, big hole, gets the first down. It looked like he was going to book it into the end zone, but give the Beverly linebacker credit on that play. Came up and made a quick tackle, but not before the first down. So it's, it's first and 10 Gloucester at the Beverly 11. So Gloucester can still get a first down inside the one yard line. Preferably they'll score a touchdown before then. <laughs> First and 10, Gloucester at the 11. And Smith, he breaks away from that tackle. He gets to the outside. I think he fought his way back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, they're really keying on Mark Smith. The couple of times he's had the ball, the Beverly defenders have been all over him. Same thing with that play right there. But he managed to get the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. So it's second down 10. Four and a half minutes left, first quarter. And again, we got another motion on the fisherman. And it's gonna bring up a second down and 14. We get second and 15. So again, another mistake by Gloucester on its opening drive. But they find a way to recover. Second down, 15. Peña Ortiz cuts it up the middle, makes another nice cut. Gets the ball down inside the 10 to about the eight. And it's gonna bring up third down. The ball's being placed at the seven yard line. So it's third and six. So this is a big play right here for Gloucester. Either you get the first down, I'll put it in the end zone, or you're gonna face another fourth down. Let's see what happens. The ball came loose. And the fishermen recover, but it's gonna bring up a fourth down now. And let's see what Gloucester does here. Is a field goal in their future? I doubt it. <laughs> but here comes the quarterback, Nelson. It's going to be fourth down and six. Fourth and seven. From the eight. Fourth and seven from the eight. So another fourth down situation for the fishermen. 
There's that handoff, the, the reverse handoff again. Smith, can he cut it back in? No, he can't. So Beverly holds him on the, their first drive, and they will maintain a 7 nothing lead. So the Gloucester offense stalls on its opening drive. They're going to clean up some of those mistakes, otherwise they would have been in the end zone. So 2.33 remaining in the first quarter, and Beverly will go back on offense deep in their own territory. And it's very important for the, deep, for the Gloucester defense to come up with a stand here. A three and out will be ideal. Hand off. And that time the Gloucester defense was there. In fact, they lost the yardage on that play. That was a loss of about two. Second down and 12, yeah, lost two yards. Ball's on the three yard line now. So let's see what the Gloucester defense, hopefully they can stop them on this drive and get the ball back in pretty good field position. Let's see what happens. Shotgun formation this time for Beverly. He keeps it, finds a hole, and he close to a first down. Ryan Barrow with the keeper for Beverly. It's gonna bring up a third down and short for the Panthers. That was a nice design play for Beverly. Third and one. 11 yard carry for Barrow brings up third and one for Beverly. That was an 11 yard carry for the Beverly quarterback, Ryan Barra. Third and one. And first down, Beverly. Gain of about two on the play, but he only needed one, so the drive continues for Beverly as we're at the one minute mark of the first quarter. As they move the sticks, they'll start the clock once they set the sticks. Yeah, we're under a minute now. Seven nothing Beverly on the first play of the game, number 12 for Beverly, 67 yard touchdown run, Clayton McAlpine. Pitch out, and the fishermen are on that one. And that was a loss of yardage on the play. That was McAlpine again. But he lost about four yards on that play as we, he got out of bounds, so there's 36 seconds remaining in the first quarter with the clock stopped. So second down and about 13 for the Panthers. Sixteen twenty-three Studios production of Gloucester High School Football. Handoff up the middle and he breaks away. First down. Up to the 44 yard line of Gloucester, number 20. Andrew Avila. Andrew Avila. But Beverly picks off a nice run. 32-yard gain and a first down for Beverly at the Gloucester 44-yard line. At their own 44-yard line, I'm sorry. And this was, that, that was probably the last play of the first quarter. Three, two, one. Yep, that was the last play of the first quarter. All right, with the score, the Beverly Panthers seven. The Gloucester Fisherman nothing. We'll be back for the second quarter action in just a few moments. We are a full service florist. We deliver to all of Cape Ann and the North Shore. We also provide wedding flowers, funeral flowers, everything from birth to death basically. My name is Maria Russell, and I own and work at Russell's Florist in Gloucester. 
We have been in business in Gloucester for 21 years. We were both born and raised here. Our parents were also born and raised here. Our grandparents were born and raised here, so it seemed a good fit for us. I think it's important to support KPN TV because it provides so much for our community. There's so much programming on there, and usually at any given time you turn the TV on, KPN TV, you'll see somebody you know or recognize something or some event or some musician, um, all, all kinds of things. I think that KPN TV has so much to offer our community, whether you're in retail, whether you're in the arts, or whether you own a store on Main Street, KPN TV provides so much for Gloucester and KPN. We are a very proud supporter of KPN TV. To learn more about becoming a KPN TV underwriter, email sponsor at kpntv.org. Welcome to Azorian Restaurant and Bar. For over 10 years, we have specialized in Portuguese and Mediterranean cuisine. We feature weekly specials with fresh local seafood, homemade desserts, and extensive wine lists from around the world. With open seating, a private function room, and a large full-service bar. You can come right in or call and make a reservation. We're located at 133 Washington Street in Gloucester, Massachusetts, or you can see our full menu at AzorianRestaurant.com. Hope to see you soon! You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Ben's Wallpaper and Paint, you will experience a level of service you thought no longer existed. We're proud to deliver the kind of specialized attention that you thought no longer existed and simply won't find in larger chain stores. Whether from our full line of Benjamin Moore paint or custom window treatment, you will find what you need at Ben's Wallpaper and Paint at 6 Railroad Avenue here in Gloucester. Community is the key. That's why we support KPN Television, so they can deliver valuable, local, community-based news, sports, and information about KPN, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPN TV. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center has served Cape Ann families since 1955. We learned long ago that the best way to keep our customers is to provide skilled and friendly services at reasonable prices. Unlike large or chain repair businesses, each of our customers is a very important part of our business. Personal is what makes Cape Ann Television so valuable to our community. That's why we support KPN Television, so that they can deliver valuable community-based news, sports, and information about KPN, which is so important to us all. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPN TV. All right, welcome back. First and 10, Beverly at their own 44-yard line. As we start the second quarter, they lead it 7-0. Reverse, and there's no one on that side of the field for Gloucester. And he gets right at midfield. Number eight for Beverly. Duncan Moreland. Senior. Duncan Moreland with the carry. So Gloucester calls a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. And Beverly is looking at a second down and one from the Gloucester 47-yard line. And the fishermen right now don't seem to have that energy level going for them. First play of the game, number 12, Clayton McAlpine, 67-yard TD run. And that's been all the scoring. Gloucester had a nice drive in the first quarter, made a few mistakes on it, and ended up stalling inside the 10-yard line. Beverly took over, and this is the current drive. They started at their own five. Now they're in Gloucester territory. Up the middle, first down Beverly. 
at the Gloucester 44 yard line. Number, number 21 for Beverly, Paul Malumba. That was a three yard run. First down Beverly at the Gloucester 44. Second quarter action. Offsides, Gloucester. Play continues, and Beverly's probably going to decline the penalty. They picked up more yards on the on the play than they did than the penalty would give them. Okay, so they're giving the Beverly coaches the option. All right, so Beverly's going to uh, accept the penalty and replay first down. So it makes it first and five. So it remains first down for Beverly. First and five at the Gloucester 40, actually 39 yard line. Inside handoff again, cuts back. And a nice run by number 20 for Beverly. Andrew Avila. And another first down for Beverly. Right now the Panthers are controlling this game. First and 10 at the Gloucester 27. Handoff up the middle. McAlpine picked up a couple there. Second down and about seven. I was gaining with three for McAlpine. And we have a timeout on Gloucester. With the score, Beverly 7, Fisherman nothing. We'll be back in a few minutes. For a growing business, things can move pretty quickly. That's why it's important to bank with someone who won't hold you back. At Cape Ann Savings Bank, we have built our reputation on our quick, local decision-making. Our lending officers know this area and what it takes to get business done here. Cape Ann Savings Bank, a local bank that can keep up with your business. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. We take pride in our ability to anticipate and adapt to the ever-changing terrain of the commercial printing industry. Since our founding in 1922, the Cricket Press, along with our weekly newspaper, the Manchester Cricket, have long valued the importance of local news and information. That is why we support Cape Ann Television, so they can continue to provide community television programming for the Cape Ann area. Join. Volunteer. Support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPAN TV. Daddy, that light's on again. I think we need to go to Extreme Truck and Auto and Cheese Shop. When this happens to you, there's no need to go to a dealer whether you're a foreign or a domestic car. We can take care of that right here at Extreme. We have a complete line of snap-on diagnostics specifically made for all your vehicle needs. Bumper to bumper, foreign or domestic, we can take care of it all here at Extreme. Here at Extreme, we guarantee all of our work for you. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Here at the Fitness Zone, we are proud to serve the community that we have been a part of for over 18 years. Here you will find a huge selection of equipment, fitness classes, 
personal trainers, and a juice bar. We are located at 37 Blackburn Center, right next door to Cape Ann TV. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television, so they can deliver valuable, local, and community-based news and sports from Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. All right, welcome back. 7-0 Beverly. 9-17 left. First half. And right now, the Beverly Panthers are controlling this game. They're facing a second down and seven from the Gloucester 25-yard line right now. All right, here we go. Second down, seven for Beverly. Gloucester defense needs to come up big. Handoff right up the middle, and there's a good defensive play by the Fisherman. Number 54 for Gloucester, got in the backfield. Jeffrey Latanzi, senior, 5'10", 205. Broke in there and read that play nicely, and it's gonna bring up a third and nine for Beverly. Nice play by Latanza. Latanzi. Pass. They throw it out there. And there's going to be a pass interference. And maybe it was an uncatchable ball. Let's see. Because if it's an uncatchable ball, they can overrule pass interference. Let's see. That ball was way over the head of the receiver. There's certainly no question it was an un uh, uncatchable ball. But I don't think the fishermen are going to get the benefit of the doubt. Let's see. Maybe they will. Yeah, they're going to call the pass interference. The Gloucester coaching staff is saying an uncatchable ball, and it looked like it really certainly was. But first down, Beverly on the Gloucester 15. Number 12, McAlpine. Clayton McAlpine, the ball carrier. Gain of about five there. Second down and five for Beverly at the Gloucester 10. Clock's ticking, 8-18 remaining in the second quarter. And the Fisherman right now, the longest this game goes, the longer this game goes, it's gonna be uh, more of an uphill battle. Eight minutes remaining. Second down five. And there's a good defensive play by the Fisherman. Number 22 for Gloucester was in there. Dalen Locke, Penny Ortiz was in on the tackle as well. So it's gonna bring up a third down and five for Beverly at the Gloucester 10. And this is a big play for the Fisherman right here. And just show the Beverly coaches say they don't get a first down. They're going to go for a field goal. Pass in. And he starts to run. He throws it, and it's incomplete. So Barra, court, uh, the quarterback, Ryan Barra, just missed on that receiver. He threw it a little too low. So Beverly's going to go for a field goal here. And I think the fishermen are catching a break with a field goal. I would go for it if I was Beverly right now. The fishermen look down. Joey Loretti on to the 27 yard. It's going to be a 27 yard field goal for Beverly. Number 45 will do the honors. 
Snap ball down, kick is up, and it is, it's good. Number 45, Joey Loretti for Beverly, kicks a 27-yard field goal. And as the teams head back upfield with the score, the Beverly Panthers 10. The Gloucester Fisherman nothing. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Looking for a shop to fix your car's collision damage? Gloucester Auto Body has over 30 years of experience going on three generations in the business. A state-of-the-art laser measuring system assures 100% correction on unibody frames. And EnviroBase high-performance paint is environmentally friendly and color matching is precise. We're not just collision repair. Gloucester Auto Body is a full-service repair facility. So trust your car to Corrado and Paul at Gloucester Auto Body. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Glover's Floor Covering, for more than 60 years, we have provided our customers with real value in quality carpets, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, vinyl flooring, and ceramic tile. We're involved in the communities we serve and take great pride in our ability to support Cape Ann Television so that they in turn can deliver valuable community-based programming for Cape Ann. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. Volunteer production opportunities are available in all the towns we serve. Get into local TV. Call the station to find out more. Welcome to Italiano Restaurant and Bar, located in downtown Gloucester. We specialize in classic Italian cuisine, feature fresh local seafood, and pizza made with our own dough daily. We have an extensive wine selection, a beautiful marble bar, and an impressive 12 tap system, and the games are always on. If you're visiting Gloucester, make sure you try Italiano. You can walk in or call and make a reservation, or you can visit our website at italianorestaurantandbar.com. Ciao! You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a Warehouse Club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card dental savings plan. Your smile will thank you. All right, welcome back. All right, Beverly leads it 10-0. And by going for a field goal on that drive, I think Beverly did Gloucester a favor. Maybe not, we'll see. All right, here comes Beverly, they'll kick off. And Fisherman have it, 10, 15. And he gets tackled at the 25 yard line. And so the fisherman will go on offense for the, only the second time this afternoon. Their first drive was all right, but it was marred by a lot of mistakes. They got inside the Beverly 10. They were facing a fourth down and they couldn't, and they didn't convert. Beverly took over and just kicked a field goal. And they lead it 10 nothing. First and 10 Gloucester at their own 25 and the fishermen need points here with seven minutes to go in the first half. Pena Ortiz cuts it up, gets about five yards, yeah, takes it over to 30, maybe six. There's still plenty of time in this game for Glossa. No need to panic. I think that's key, is not to get away from your game plan. It's only 10-0. I think Beverly did Glossa a favor. We'll see what happens by kicking that field goal. That was Beverly. You had him down. It was fourth down. You kick them when they're down, John. Well, we'll see. Nelson calling the signals. Around the corner. Philo. They get a flag on the play. 
And do we have an illegal block? Can't be a holding because it was way too far downfield. Maybe it's on Beverly. That was Philo on the carry on that reverse. And the fishermen are going backwards, which is a bad sign. And let's see what they're calling here. I'm trying to keep an eye on the reps. It's on Gloucester because he's going backwards with it. Holding. Okay, it's a spot foul, so after they mark the yada job, it still might be a first down for Gloucester. No, it's a first down Gloucester. Okay, the penalty came after the first down had been accomplished. The illegal block came after he had gotten the first down. Moved the ball back 10 yards. But it was still good enough for a first down, so it's first and 10 Gloucester from the 36-yard line. line. They would have had the ball up near the 50, but because of the penalty, they're back down near the 35. Okay, here we go. Ortiz gets pushed back. He gained about four on the play, maybe three. So it's second down and about seven for Glosser. Gain of three on that play. So the fishermen got lucky on that last penalty. It came far enough downfield to where they still maintain the first down. Second down and six. Pena Ortiz again makes a nice cut. Gets the first down and takes it up to the Gloucester 49-yard line. First down, Fisherman. The ball is spawned right at the 50-yard line. All right, here we go. First and 10 fishermen at the 50-yard line. Down, 10-0. Nelson, he's fading back. He throws it. He's got a man. It's caught by the tight end. Number 87, Benjamin Manales. First down fisherman at the 39-yard line of Beverly. A nice pitch and catch by Gloucester there. So... That's, uh, that was Nelson's second pass of the afternoon. His first one almost ended in disaster. And we have a timeout, Beverly. And we'll be right back with the score, Beverly 10, gloss to nothing. See you in a couple minutes. When your kitchen cabinets start showing their age, don't toss them out. Call Paint Pro and make it like new again. The professionals at PaintPro will refinish and paint your wooden kitchen cabinets for a look you'll be proud of at a fraction of the cost of replacing them. At PaintPro, we built our reputation on our commitment to providing quality service. I take pride in delivering value through top quality, dependable work with excellent prices and reliable, honest service. Go to the PaintPro website for more about our services and our satisfied customers. Put new life into your home with PaintPro. a full-service florist. We deliver to all of Cape Ann and the North Shore. We also provide wedding flowers, funeral flowers, everything from birth to death, basically. My name is Maria Russell, and I own and work at Russell's Florist in Gloucester. We have been in business in Gloucester for 21 years. We were both born and raised here. Our parents were also born and raised here. Our grandparents were born and raised here, so it seemed a good fit for us. I think it's important to support KPN TV because it provides so much for our community. There's so much programming on there, and usually at any given time you turn the TV on, KPN TV, you'll see somebody you know or recognize something or some event or some musician, um, all, all kinds of things. I think that KPN TV 
has so much to offer our community, whether you're in retail, whether you're in the arts, or whether you own a store on Main Street, KPN TV provides so much for Gloucester and KPN. We are a very proud supporter of KPN TV. To learn more about becoming a KPN TV underwriter, email sponsor at kpntv.org. All right, welcome back. It's first and 10 Gloucester at the Beverly 39 yard line. The Fisherman trail it 10 to nothing with 4.36 remaining in the first half, and they need some points out of this drive. Here comes the offense. Argentino, Pena Ortiz, Smith in the backfield. Inside Rivera, Smith. Makes a nice cutback, cuts it up the middle, gain of about six or seven. Brings up a second down and three. Nice run by Smith. Fishermen need points on this drive. They trail it 10 nothing. Handoff, Argentino plows his way into the first down, takes it inside the 15, excuse me, inside the 25, down to the 23. Ryan Argentino, he plowed his way to the first down. First and 10 fishermen on the Beverly 24, make it the 23. Peña Ortiz cuts it up, has some room, gets to the outside. He's going to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Jan Peña Ortiz, but we have a flag on the play. Oh, no. What do we got now? Another Gloucester penalty. Illegal block. I saw a block down there. It didn't look too illegal. He didn't take his head off. Maybe he hit him from behind. Yeah, that's what it looks like they're calling. Holding on the fisherman. And that's a spot foul, too. That will negate the touchdown, but it makes it second down and about three. So they're not in terrible shape. Again, once again, the, the hold came way downfield. And after you match off the penalty... It remains first down and three. Actually, it should be second down. No, no, wait a minute. Let's see. What do we got? It should be second down if they took the penalty. All right. First down. Peña Ortiz can't get to the outside this time. He loses yardage on that play. Ortiz with the carry is stopped for a loss by Paul Malumbo. And they went backwards that way in the Fishman. They can't have those plays, especially when you're trailing 10 0. The ball is now located at the 19-yard line of Beverly. Second down and about... Second down and 14 from the Beverly 19-yard line. Second down. And it's saying second and 14 on the scoreboard. I don't see that. Peña Ortiz again, and he goes nowhere. Regardless, the fishermen are going nowhere. And it's going to bring up a third down. To me, it looks like a third down and about seven. Third and six, it looks like to me. The scoreboard is saying third and 15, but the yard markers on the far sidelines are not indicating that right now. Nonetheless, it's third down. 
Nelson throws it. And no flag on the play. Pass was incomplete. The fishermen are looking for a pass interference. And they're not going to get it. And it's going to bring up a fourth down for the fishermen. And they're going to obviously go for it here. The ball is on the 20 yard line. And if the fishermen don't come away with points on this drive, they're going to be in trouble. Nelson again throws it, finds a man. But is it close enough to the first down? Oh, he's, oh boy, he's right there. Did he give him the first down? Yeah, he's got it. He's got the first down. Yeah, move the sticks. That was big. With exactly two minutes to go, the fishermen pull off a fourth down play. And there was some confusion there with that last penalty. But nonetheless, it's first and 10 Gloucester at the Beverly 12. They were in the situation once earlier, but this time they're gonna come through. Handoff, that was Pena Ortiz. He gets it inside the 10, down to about the seven or eight. At the eight. All right, so it's second down and six for Gloucester. They can pick up another first down inside the two yard line. But they can't be thinking first down right here. They're gonna be thinking touchdown. Nelson calling the signals, James Nelson. Just had a big fourth down completion. Pitch out, Pena Ortiz is gonna turn the corner. Can he do it? Yes, touchdown Gloucester. Oh no, they're not gonna give him a touchdown. Down at the one, but it is a first down. Okay, no touchdown, but it is a first down. Yep, okay, first and goal for Gloucester. We're under a minute. Nelson, hands off, Argentino, touchdown Fisherman. With 45 seconds remaining in the first half, the Fisherman get on the scoreboard. Makes it 10 to six. All right, let's see what the Gloucester does here. They're gonna go for two, no, no, they're gonna kick it. Number 12 for Gloucester, Toby Campbell, the backup quarterback. A junior will kick for Gloucester. Uh, Mark Smith, 32, will hold. Snap ball down, kick is up, and it is, it's good. So as the teams head back upfield, we'll keep it right here with 43 seconds remaining. The score is now Beverly 10, Gloucester Fisherman 7, and I th think Beverly, I know it's too early to say, but they may have made a mistake down at the other end of the field by deciding to kick a field goal, which basically kept Gloucester in the game. So, Beverly will get the ball with 43 seconds remaining. And to start the second half, the Fishermen will start the second half with the ball. So the Fishermen need a big defensive play here to uh, make sure Beverly doesn't sniff the end zone with 43 seconds left. Dalen Locke, number 22, tees it up for Gloucester. Folks, it's game on now, 10-7. The Gloucester team now might have the, its energy level may have increased a little. All right, Dalen Locke, he approaches the ball, booms it up high, fielded by Beverly at the 20, and the Fisherman are down there. Nice tackle, Locke was in on the tackle as well. So Beverly will go on offense with 38 seconds remaining in the first half. They lead it 10-7. Let's see what they do. Do they sit on it? 
although they try to score with 38 seconds. The ball is on their own 30. Do they try to air it out? Maybe. Let's see what Beverly does. Very interesting decision here by the Beverly coaching staff. You don't want to make a mistake either. In high school football, that one mistake at the key time could turn the whole game. All right, here we go. It looks like they're going to throw it. Looks like the formation that they're in. Yeah. Well, it was a halfback pass, but the halfback ain't going to get the ball off. But he's still running, and he gets a first down. And if it wasn't for number 12 for Gloucester making that tackle, he may have gone all the way. They had him in the backfield. It's a first down, Beverly. We have a timeout. It's a 20-second timeout. Duncan Moreland with an escape plan like you wouldn't believe. Gives him a first down and 10 from their own 40. The fisherman had a chance to bury, uh, to bury Beverly in this half right there, but they let him slip away. 27 seconds left. First and 10, Beverly at their own 40. Number 12 for Gloucester, Toby Kimmel made a big tackle just now. Shotgun this time for Beverly. He's fades back. Out there, and he throws him out there. He's got a man. Ho oh, ho! He was open. Number five for Beverly. Patrick Parsons. He had a step on the Gloucester defender. And it was just a little too long. That stops the clock with 21 seconds left. And second down 10 for Beverly at the Gloucester 40. And the fishermen better be careful. All those deep roots. You don't want to get burned in this situation. This is big for Gloucester right here. They start the second half with the ball. Shotgun again. They go deep with it. He's got a man out there. And it's intercepted by Mark Smith. Mark Smith, number 32 for Gloucester, intercepts it. And the ball will be placed at the Gloucester 20 with 13 seconds remaining. Gloucester will go on offense, which I assume they're just going to sit on it. I hope. That was a big play by Mark Smith. That ensures the fact that the score is going to be 10-7 at the half, and Gloucester will start the second half with the ball. And I still think Beverly made a mistake by kicking a field goal. It, it was a fourth down situation, and they may not have scored. But if you had gotten a first down, that could have been the dagger. But the momentum's on the other side of the field now. Team called Gloucester. All right, the fishermen. Let's see what they do here. And we got delay a game on Gloucester. Another flag. No, too many. 13 players on the field for Beverly. Is that what they're saying? A 12? Yep. And they too many men on the field for Beverly. It's a five-yard penalty. I don't think that changes things too much here with 13 seconds remaining. First down five, a quick hitter up the middle of the Argentina. That's a face mask, absolutely. I can see that from here. That's a, a personal foul on Beverly. That's a 15-yard penalty. It stops the clock. Face mask and move the ball all the way up. It's a 15-yarder. Dare I say it, can the fishermen do a Hail Mary now? They're at their own 39, I still wouldn't do it. We have a timeout on the field for Gloucester, but a 20 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. With eight seconds remaining in the first half. And 
What an entertaining first half this has been. So Beverly has made a couple of mistakes here at the end of the first half. Let's see what Colossa does. There's only eight seconds remaining. First and ten. Mark Smith. He's got some room. Can he cut it? Does he get out of bounds in time? There's still three seconds remaining. First down. That stops the clock briefly. Mark Smith on the carry. The ball is inside Beverly territory now. We have another timeout by Gloucester. It's a full timeout. I think it's what the referee said. Let's see. Nope, it was a 20 second timeout, okay. Okay, it's a full timeout, okay. yeah, all right. That's what I thought the ref said. But we'll keep it right here with three seconds remaining. And to recap this first half, folks. First play of the game, Beverly scored on a 67-yard touchdown run by McAlpine. Glosser took over on downs, put a nice drive together, but stalled inside the Beverly 10 on fourth down. Beverly got the ball again, had an excellent drive that settled for a field goal. And they kicked off the Glosser, and Glosser put a nice drive together to finally get on the scoreboard and make it 10 to seven. But Gloucester has the ball right now, first and 10 at the Beverly 47 yard line with three seconds remaining in the half. First and, and let's see what Gloucester does here. Now Gloucester has never been a team to do a Hail Mary. But this, this would be the situation right here. But let's see. First and 10, final play of the half. Reverse, it's Philo. They weren't expecting him. He's got some room. Is he gonna take it to the end? No, he's gonna get tackled at the 20. And that's the last play of the first half. And with the score, the Beverly Panthers 10, the Gloucester Fisherman seven. We'll be back with second half action in just a few moments. Welcome to Azorian Restaurant and Bar. For over 10 years, we have specialized in Portuguese and Mediterranean cuisine. We feature weekly specials with fresh local seafood, homemade desserts, and extensive wine lists from around the world. With open seating, a private function room, and a large full service bar. You can come right in or call and make a reservation. We're located at 133 Washington Street in Gloucester, Massachusetts, or you can see our full menu at AzorianRestaurant.com. Hope to see you soon. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Ben's Wallpaper and Paint, you will experience a level of service you thought no longer existed. We're proud to deliver the kind of specialized attention that you thought no longer existed and simply won't find in larger chain stores. Whether from our full line of Benjamin Moore paint or custom window treatment, you will find what you need at Ben's Wallpaper and Paint at 6 Railroad Avenue here in Gloucester. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television, so they can deliver valuable, local, community-based news, sports, and information about Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center has served Cape Ann families since 1955. We learned long ago that the best way to keep our customers is to provide skilled and friendly services at reasonable prices. Unlike large or chain repair businesses, each of our customers is a very important part of our business. Personal is what makes Cape Ann Television so valuable to our community. That's why we support Cape Ann Television, so that they can deliver valuable community-based news, sports, and information about Cape Ann, which is so important to us all. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV.
life can go by pretty fast. One minute you are starting a family, the next you are planning for retirement. That's why it is never too early to start thinking about protecting the wealth you have grown. At Cape Ann Savings, our financial professionals can help you meet any financial challenge you may face. Cape Ann Savings. Life moves fast. Make the best of it. All right, everybody, welcome back to Heard Stadium. Beverly leads Gloucester 10 to 7 at half. And the good news, even though the Fishmen were basically outplayed in that first half, they trail it only 10 to 7. And they will start the second half with the ball. And Gloucester needs to clean up its clean up its mistakes on offense. They made several mistakes on offense in that opening half, especially on the opening drive. Uh, that they, when they had the ball. And they were trailing 7-0 as Beverly scored uh, a quick touchdown on the first play of the game. A 67-yard touchdown run by uh, by McAlpine, number 12. Clayton McAlpine. But the fishermen just need to settle down here. Uh, and cut the mistakes down, and I think they'll be fine. We'll see what happens. Beverly settled for a field goal on their last drive of the half. Well, actually, it wasn't their last drive of the half. It was their second to last drive of the half, which could turn out to be a mistake. We'll see what happens. But at the time, it was a fourth down. They were facing a fourth down at the gloss of 10. It was fourth and like, fourth and about three. I thought they should have gone for it, because at the time, Gloss's defense, uh, no, they were kind of down. But Beverly settled for a field goal. Gloucester got the ball after that and drove down the field to go to touchdown and make it 10-7. And folks, it's game on now. Nicholas Filo is back, number 23 for Gloucester, back deep. Number 29 is back there for Gloucester, too. Jacob Enos, a sophomore. So Philo and Enos are the uh, returners for the Fishermen. Number 45, Joey Loretti will kick off for Beverly. He has a field goal in this game. You don't see too many field goals in high school football. Unless you have a real good kicker. Most teams go for it on fourth down. All right, here we go. Loretti kicking off. And it's all the way down to Enos. And he better pick it up. He's at the five. And he's trapped. And he gets the ball up to the 10. Not a good start for Glossom on the special teams play. But they will have the ball at their own 10. Beverly leads it 10-7. 16, 23 studios, production of Gloucester High School football. John Russ on the camera this afternoon. I'm Phil Castro on an overcast but warm day here in Beverly. Okay, here come the fishermen. Hand off, nice run. Jan Pena Ortiz, I believe, yep. A pickup of a quick 10 yards. First down Gloucester. That was a nice run by Pena Ortiz there. No, they're not going to give him 10. They're going to give him 9. They're going to give him 9.5. So second down short for Gloucester. All right. Second and short for the Fisherman. Peña Ortiz. First down, up the middle, and he squeezes out four or five more yards. 
and it makes a first and 10 fishermen from their own 25. Another nice run by Peña Ortiz. The kid is a great athlete, he really is. So first and 10 Gloucester at their own, yeah, 25, 26 yard line right around there. Reverse, Mark Smith cuts it upfield. He gains about five. Takes a big hit. Mark Smith with the carry for Gloucester. So it's a second down and five for the fishermen at their own 30. 10 to 7, Beverly. Pass. It's complete. First down fisherman at their own 40. He took a big hit. Number 87. Benjamin Renales has the pass completed at the 40. And he hung on to the ball after taking a big hit from behind. So Nelson has completed a couple of key passes today for first downs. Beverly 0-1 on the season. Fisherman 1-0. Peña Ortiz. He'll find his way somehow. Gain three yards on that play. And it's going to bring up a second down and seven for Gloucester. Clock continues to tick with eight and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Second to seven for Gloucester. Motion goes Smith. Pitch out. Pena Ortiz. And he stuffed that time. I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, wow. Actually, they are. They're giving him a yard. I don't know where that yard came from. Yeah, they gave him a yard. Wow. That was generous. That was a generous one yard. That brings up third down and about seven for Gloucester. Big play for Gloucester early in the second half. Penny Ortiz cuts it back. He's got the first down. Over the 50, down to the Beverly 49 yard line. Pena Ortiz. Jan Pena Ortiz, the workhorse of the Gloucester backfield. The ball is at the Beverly 48. First and 10 Gloucester. <laughs> Oh, offsides, Pena Ortiz jumped in the backfield. It's gonna bring up a first and 15 for Gloucester. A Beverly player also jumped too, but once the backfield referee sees that the offensive player jumped first, it's usually gonna go against the offense. All right, second down and 15. Excuse me, first and 15 with just under seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. 10 to seven, Beverly. Reverse, Mark Smith, he's gonna try to get around. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And even then some. It's gonna bring up a third and eight for Gloucester. Mark Smith with the carry, tackled by Paul Malumba. Malumba on the tackle, he's had a lot of tackles today of Beverly. It brings up second down and eight for Gloucester. Gloucester with its running back depth. Peña Ortiz, Argentino, Mark Smith. Peña Ortiz, he cuts it up the middle and he gains a couple.
And it's gonna bring up a third down and about seven. Third and six. Another early, big third down second half play for the Fisherman. Nelson's passing. He's looking for a receiver and he, and it's intercepted. It deflected off Rinalis' hands and into the hands of the Beverly defender. And the drive stalled with the turnover. Alexander for Beverly with the pass interception. And that's not what the fishermen needed because they ended up a lot of time in this quarter, 520 remaining, and now Beverly has the ball, and the fishermen are still trailing 10-7. All right, here we go. First and 10 Beverly at their own 27 yard line. Make it the 28. We'll hand off up the middle. The fishermen are all over that one. Gain of about one. Make it two. He gained one, yeah, okay, they spotted the ball. So second down in, let's say about eight and a half, if you want to get technical about it. Fisherman defense needs to come up big. 448 remaining in the third quarter. Keeper for the Beverly quarterback. Stays on his feet. Close to a first down, not quite. Ryan Barra, the quarterback. Oh no, they give him the first down. I didn't think he got there. Yeah, so they give him the first down. So first and 10 Beverly at their own 38. Hand off, oh, the fishermen are in the backfield there. Number 21 for the Gloucester, makes a nice play. Marshall, I believe. Yep, Harrison Marshall. Came up from his cornerback position and made the tackle. A loss of a yard, nice play by Marshall. It brings up a second and 11 for Beverly. We're under four minutes, approaching three and a half left in the third quarter. Fishman need to get the ball back. Oh, the Beverly guy moved first. He's the offensive guy, he has to stay still. It doesn't matter, it has to be on the offensive guy, he moved. On the defense, come on! Oh boy. It brings up second down in, in about six now. Oh boy, I'm not so sure about that call, but what are you gonna do? Second down six for Beverly. The quarterback keeper, Barra, got plenty of blockers. He gets the first down. Gets it up to the 50 yard line. Ryan Barra again with the keeper. Again, it's good for Panthers first down. And that interception by Glosser could be a costly one. Eight yard carry, the ball at midfield. Clock is stopped. It's running now, three minutes to go. Third quarter. 
And if Beverly scores here, it's going to make it extremely difficult for the Fishermen to catch up. They'll need two scores. Pitch out. And the Fishermen are all over that one this time. McAlpine. I think he lost a yard. Makes a second and 11. Second down 11 for Beverly at their own 49. We're approaching two minutes left in the third quarter. And again, it's on Gloucester. Defense moved, and it's going to bring up a second down and six for Beverly. And the fishermen are making too many mistakes today. And we have a timeout on the field by the fishermen with the score of Beverly 10, Gloucester 7. We'll be back in a few minutes. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community. Underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. We take pride in our ability to anticipate and adapt to the ever-changing terrain of the commercial printing industry. Since our founding in 1922, the Cricket Press, along with our weekly newspaper, the Manchester Cricket, have long valued the importance of local news and information. That is why we support KPAN Television, so they can continue to provide community television programming for the KPAN area. Join, volunteer, support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPAN TV. When this happens to you, there's no need to go to a dealer, whether you're a foreign or a domestic car. We can take care of that right here at Extreme. We have a complete line of snap-on diagnostics specifically made for all your vehicle needs. Bumper to bumper, foreign or domestic, we can take care of it all here at Extreme. Here at Extreme, we guarantee all of our work for you. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community. Underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Here at the Fitness Zone, we are proud to serve the community that we have been a part of for over 18 years. Here you will find a huge selection of equipment, fitness classes, personal trainers, and a juice bar. We are located at 37 Blackburn Center, right next door to Cape Ann TV. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television so they can deliver valuable, local, and community-based news and sports from Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. Looking for a shop to fix your car's collision damage? Gloucester Auto Body has over 30 years of experience going on three generations in the business. A state-of-the-art laser measuring system assures 100% correction on unibody frames. And EnviroBase high-performance paint is environmentally friendly and color matching is precise. We're not just collision repair. Gloucester Auto Body is a full-service repair facility. So trust your car to Corrado and Paul at Gloucester Auto Body. All right, welcome back. 158 left, third quarter. Second down six for the Panthers. They lead it 10 to seven. Fisherman defense needs to come up big. Quick.
quick hitter up the middle. Fisherman stuffed that. No gain on the play. It's going to bring up a third down and six. All right, big, big third down play for the fishermen here. They need some something to happen for them on D. Minute and a half left, third quarter. Clock ticking. Quarterback keeper, step up, and did they stop him? Yes, they did, I think. Did he get the first down? I don't think he did. That brings up a fourth and about one. So let's see what Beverly does here. They'll probably go for it, but they got to make a decision nonetheless. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Okay, big fourth down play for both teams right here. This is a big play. This is a play that could uh, turn the game either way. We're under a minute in the third quarter. And here's one of those signature plays of a game that could go a long way. And a quarterback sneak. I don't think he got there. I don't think he got it. Nope. The referee is not on the 40. It looks like the fishermen have held. And yes, that yard marker looks like it's not quite there. Now let's see what the referees decide to do. They might go for an official's timeout for a measurement. And I can tell from here he didn't get it. Yeah. He's going to measure it. He didn't get it. I tell you right now, he's six inches short. But the referee is requesting a measurement anyways. First down Gloucester, please. That's not even close. That's not even in the ballpark. Yeah, the fisherman held. Well, it was only by a couple inches. <laughs> so the fisherman will take over on downs with a half a minute left in the third quarter. So, the fishermen are breathing again. They need to stop the mistakes. Penny Ortiz cuts it up, gain of about four. The fishermen are probably gonna let the clock run out here in the third quarter. Gain of about four for Ortiz, makes a second and six. But the clock is running, 13 seconds, third quarter. Three, two, one, are they gonna get a playoff? No, they're not. All right, at the end of three quarters, the score, the Beverly Panthers 10, the Gloucester Fisherman seven. We'll be back for fourth quarter action in a few moments. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Glover's Floor Covering, for more than 60 years, we have provided our customers with real value in quality carpets, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, vinyl flooring, and ceramic tile. We're involved in the communities we serve and take great pride in our ability to support Cape Ann Television so that they, in turn, can deliver valuable community-based programming for Cape Ann. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. Volunteer production opportunities are available in all the towns we serve. Get into local TV. Call the station to find out more. Italiano Restaurant and Bar, located in downtown Gloucester. We specialize in classic Italian cuisine, feature fresh local seafood, and pizza made with our own dough daily. We have an extensive wine selection, a beautiful marble bar, and an impressive 12 tap system, and the games are always on. If you're visiting Gloucester, make sure you try Italiano. You can walk in or call and make a reservation, or you can visit our website at italianorestaurantandbar.com. Ciao!
You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a warehouse club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card Dental Savings Plan. Your smile will thank you. When your kitchen cabinets start showing their age, don't toss them out. Call Paint Pro and make it like new again. The professionals at Paint Pro will refinish and paint your wooden kitchen cabinets for a look you'll be proud of at a fraction of the cost of replacing them. At Paint Pro, we built our reputation and our commitment to providing quality service. I take pride in delivering value through top quality, dependable work with excellent prices and reliable, honest service. Go to the Paint Pro website for more about our services and our satisfied customers. Put new life into your home with Paint Pro. Fourth quarter action, 10-7 Beverly. The Fishermen have the ball. They're facing a second down and six at their own 45. Big quarter for the Gloucester. Mark Smith cuts it in the middle. He gets the first down. Nice hard nose run by number 32, Mark Smith, the senior. First and 10 Fishermen, they're inside Beverly territory now. So the ball is being located at the Beverly 48-yard line. First and 10, Gloucester. Smith looked like he was going to pass, but he decided not to. And he gains a couple. It looked like he was going to throw a pass. It almost looked like he was going to bring his arm up, but... No. He got a couple yards. Makes a second and eight, Gloucester. Well, they're giving him one yard. Okay, second and nine. Fishermen need to remain patient here. They're only down by three, but they got to cut the mistakes. Second down, nine for Gloucester. They're inside Beverly territory. Up the middle, Argentino. Gains about three or four on that play. Brings up a third down. All right, third down play for Gloucester. It's four down territory now, so they got two plays to get five yards. They should be able to do it. We'll see what happens. Third down five. The Beverly defensive end looks off sides to me. He jumps off sides. There's the flag. Oh, Peña Ortiz cuts it back. First down. Yeah, the Beverly defensive end, not only does he look like he's lined up off sides, he just jumped off sides. So the penalty will be declined by Gloucester. Gloucester will take the first down, obviously. First and 10, Glosser at the Beverly 38. And after the, the last interception, I don't think Glosser's going to throw the ball. Maybe they will, I don't know. You don't want to make a mistake, though. First and 10, Glosser at the Beverly 38. Make it 33. Handoff, Argentino, get the big gap. And he fumbles it. And he remains, did Beverly recover? Yes, they did. Argentino took a big hit. And Beverly recovers the fumble. Another mistake by the fisherman. And here comes Beverly's offense with eight minutes and 47 seconds left. And that could be a killer for Gloucester. Because Beverly has been eating up some clock with these drives. So the defense needs a three and out right here. They haven't had one all afternoon.
Beverly 0 and 1. The Fishermen are 1 and 0. Inside handoff. And Gloucester was on at that time. A gain of about one. The Fishermen need a three and out on this drive right here, right now. They got to get the ball back with a reasonable amount of time left. Second down nine for Beverly at their own 19 yard line. I formation, pass, it's no good, it's incomplete. That would have been close to a first down. And Harry Marshall, number 21, is limping. Is he gonna come out of the game? I don't know, he's gonna try to stick it out. It brings up a third and nine. This is a big play for the Fisherman defense and for the Beverly offense. Harry Marshall is limping. I hope he can stick out this play. This is big. Big play right here. Third and nine for Beverly and Glosser at the Beverly 19. Eight minutes exactly. We have a whistle and we have a 20 second timeout by Beverly. We'll keep it right here. It's only a 20 second timeout, so the teams will not go back to the sidelines. Just the quarterback and the defensive captain can talk to the coaches on a 20 second timeout. So we'll keep it right here. 10 to seven Beverly, no scoring in the second half so far. There's exactly eight minutes left in this game. And right now, this is the biggest play of the game right here, third and nine. For Beverly at their own 19 yard line. If Gloucester can hold them here and force a punt, we haven't seen a punt in this game yet either. All right, here we go. Third and nine for Beverly. They come out in the I formation with wide receivers right, twins right. He's passing, and there's a holding on Beverly, so you can forget that. Holding on Beverly, because the quarterback was about to be sacked. Okay, holding on Beverly, that keeps it third down. But the ball will be inside the 10, I believe. No, well, closer to 10. And it will keep it third and long. If you're the fisherman, you gotta take this penalty. All right, okay. Okay, the ball is being placed at the Beverly 10 yard line. Brings up a second down, excuse me, a third down. And about 18, approximately 18. No, 19, okay. Third and 19, the clock is running though. And right now, that's not the fisherman's friend if they don't have the ball. Okay, third down and 19. Fishermen need a big play here on defense. Shotgun formation, they spread the field, so they're gonna throw. He throws them out there, and it's incomplete. It's gonna bring up a fourth down, so Beverly is gonna have to punt. And this will be our first punt of the day by anybody. And the fishermen should come away with pretty decent field position here with 7.25 left in the game. So back deep for Glosser is Mark Smith, number 32. He is inside Beverly territory. And the Beverly punter, number 11, the quarterback, Barra, is in, is in the uh, end zone doing it. And he shanks it. And just let it roll, let it roll. It's gonna go to the 34 yard line. And Gloucester has excellent field position. 
with seven minutes, 16 seconds left in this game. Beverly leads at 10 nothing. And no matter what happens in this game to the fishermen, the Gloucester coach, Tony Zarelli, has got to say, we got to cut the mistakes. Even if they win this game, he's going to tell them that. All right, here we go. First and 10 Gloucester from the Beverly 34-yard line. It's been a grudge match here today. Argentino up the middle. He's got plenty of room. Takes it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And he had that fumble on that last play, and they go right back to him. So it's first and 10 Gloucester at the Beverly 19. This sounds familiar. We were just there a minute ago. All right, Nelson calling the signals. Again, Argentino, he gained a couple. It's going to bring up a second and eight. And the fishermen right now, they have a chance to take an awful lot of time off the clock. Of course, you're going to have to score one way or another. And we have a timeout, Beverly. It's a full timeout with the score. Beverly 10, Gloucester 7. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. a full service florist. We deliver to all of Cape Ann and the North Shore. We also provide wedding flowers, funeral flowers, everything from birth to death basically. My name is Maria Russell and I own and work at Russell's Florist in Gloucester. We have been in business in Gloucester for 21 years. We were both born and raised here. Our parents were also born and raised here. Our grandparents were born and raised here, so it seemed a good fit for us. I think it's important to support KPN TV because it provides so much for our community. There's so much programming on there, and usually at any given time you turn the TV on, KPN TV, you'll see somebody you know or recognize something or some event or some musician, um, all, all kinds of things. I think that KPN TV has so much to offer our community, whether you're in retail, whether you're in the arts, or whether you own a store on Main Street, KPN TV provides so much for Gloucester and KPN. We are a very proud supporter of KPN TV. To learn more about becoming a KPN TV underwriter, email sponsor at kpntv.org. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Scott Energy, we have built our business one customer at a time with a hands-on, personal approach. In the process, we have gained customers in our communities who have come to appreciate our attention to value and quality service. We truly appreciate your business, and in turn, have made it our policy to give back to the communities that we serve. That's why we support KPN Television, so that they can deliver valuable community-based news and information about KPN, which is important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPN TV. Second down and nine for Gloucester. Six and a half minutes remaining in this game, and they still trail it, 10-7. But they have the ball inside the 20-yard line of Beverly, and the Fishermen have got to get some points here. Pena Ortiz has a big hole. That hole closed pretty quickly by the Beverly linebacker. Otherwise, he was headed for the end zone. McAlpine having a big day. 
He had that 67 yard touchdown run to start the day. The fishermen are now in a third and five situation at the 14 yard line. Six minutes remaining in the game, which has been a nail biter. Peña Ortiz gets to the outside, cuts it back in. We have a flag, and I think we're going to have a holding on Gloucester. The way this game is going, it's got to be on Gloucester. This is the way you feel. Yep, the Beverly players are clapping. Holding Gloucester. Now it's going to bring up a third and long for the fishermen. Now they're in trouble again. That's a 10 yard penalty. He's going to be third down and about 13 now. But it is four down territory, so the fishermen essentially got two plays to get 13 yards. Argentino, nowhere. Gain of about a yard. And now the fishermen are up against it. It's going to bring up a fourth down with five and a half minutes left in the game. And you're going to have to go for it here. Fourth down. That was a gain of about two for Argentino. But now the fishermen are facing a fourth down and 13 yards. Oh, boy. Exactly five minutes left in the game. Pass in, Nelson throws it out there. The Smith touchdown, Gloucester. Yes, what a pass. A 21 yard touchdown pass. James Nelson to Mark Smith gives the fisherman the lead. 13 to 10, pending the extra point. 448 left in the game. That was right at the back of the end zone. Of course, high school football, you only need one foot in bounds. What a pass that was by Nelson. And Mark Smith on the back of the end zone line makes a nice catch on a fourth and 13. Wow. So, so Kobe Campbell to kick the extra point. Snap ball down. Kick is up. It's blocked. It's a live ball, but the fishermen fall on it. All right. The extra point is blocked with the, the team's head back up field with the score. The Gloucester Fisherman 13. The Beverly Panthers 10. We'll be right back. Welcome to Azorian Restaurant and Bar. For over 10 years, we have specialized in Portuguese and Mediterranean cuisine. We feature weekly specials with fresh local seafood, homemade desserts, and extensive wine lists from around the world. With open seating, a private function room, and a large full service bar. You can come right in or call and make a reservation. We're located at 133 Washington Street in Gloucester, Massachusetts, or you can see our full menu at AzorianRestaurant.com. Hope to see you soon. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Ben's Wallpaper and Paint, you will experience a level of service you thought no longer existed. We're proud to deliver the kind of specialized attention that you thought no longer existed and simply won't find in larger chain stores. Whether from our full line of Benjamin Moore paint or custom window treatments, you will find what you need at Ben's Wallpaper and Paint at 6 Railroad Avenue here in Gloucester. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television so they can deliver valuable, local, community-based news, sports, and information about Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV.
You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center has served Cape Ann families since 1955. We learned long ago that the best way to keep our customers is to provide skilled and friendly services at reasonable prices. Unlike large or chain repair businesses, each of our customers is a very important part of our business. Personal is what makes Cape Ann Television so valuable to our community. That's why we support Cape Ann Television, so that they can deliver valuable community-based news, sports, and information about Cape Ann, which is so important to us all. Join, volunteer, support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. For a growing business, things can move pretty quickly. That's why it's important to bank with someone who won't hold you back. At Cape Ann Savings Bank, we have built our reputation on our quick, local decision-making. Our lending officers know this area and what it takes to get business done here. Cape Ann Savings Bank, a local bank that can keep up with your business. All right, welcome back. A 21-yard touchdown pass. James Nelson to Mark Smith gives the Fisherman the lead with four minutes, 48 seconds remaining in this game. And folks, I think we're in for a wild finish. And Beverly has a pretty good field goal kicker. And I think it's McAlpine. All right. And it's gonna go out of bounds. So that means Beverly will get good field position out of it. They can make him re-kick or take the ball on the 40. That's what Beverly could do. And what are they gonna make him do? They're gonna make him re-kick? I take the ball on the 40. Yep, so Beverly is going to make Gloss a re-kick. This time it'll be from the 35. It's a five-yard penalty. All right, Beverly wants Gloss to re-kick it. Five yards back at the 35 instead of the 40. Beverly could have had a first down at their own 40. If they had accepted the ball, we'll see what happens on this kickoff. All right, Dalen Locke, number 22, a re-kick. And he gets it higher this time, a little bit deeper. Into the 30. And he's got plenty of room. He breaks down the sidelines. And Beverly's going to take the lead again on the kickoff return. Number 11, the quarterback, Ryan Barra. Oh, my God. Beverly takes the lead again, 16-13. But the fisherman will get the ball back with plenty of time left in the game. What a wild game this has been. An 83-yard kickoff return. Makes it 16-13, Beverly. Unbelievable game this has been. And they will kick the extra point. Number 45 is out there. Joey Loretti. All right. Loretti on the text uh, to attempt the extra point. Snap ball down. Kick is up. And is it good? Yep. All right. The teams head back upfield with the score. The Beverly Panthers 17, 
the Gloucester Fisherman 13. We'll be back in just a few moments. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. We take pride in our ability to anticipate and adapt to the ever-changing terrain of the commercial printing industry. Since our founding in 1922, the Cricket Press, along with our weekly newspaper, the Manchester Cricket, have long valued the importance of local news and information. That is why we support Cape Ann Television, so they can continue to provide community television programming for the Cape Ann area. Join. Volunteer. Support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. When this happens to you, there's no need to go to a dealer, whether you're a foreign or a domestic car. We can take care of that right here at Extreme. We have a complete line of snap-on diagnostics specifically made for all your vehicle needs. Bumper to bumper, foreign or domestic, we can take care of it all here at Extreme. Here at Extreme, we guarantee all of our work for you. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. Here at the Fitness Zone, we are proud to serve the community that we have been a part of for over 18 years. Here you will find a huge selection of equipment, fitness classes, personal trainers, and a juice bar. We are located at 37 Blackburn Center, right next door to Cape Ann TV. Community is the key. That's why we support Cape Ann Television so they can deliver valuable, local, and community-based news and sports from Cape Ann, which is so important to all of us. Join, volunteer, support, local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support Cape Ann TV. Looking for a shop to fix your car's collision damage? Gloucester Auto Body has over 30 years of experience going on three generations in the business. A state-of-the-art laser measuring system assures 100% correction on unibody frames. And EnviroBase high-performance paint is environmentally friendly and color matching is precise. We're not just collision repair. Gloucester Auto Body is a full-service repair facility. So trust your car to Corrado and Paul at Gloucester Auto Body. All right, 4.42 remaining. Beverly leads at 17-13, but Gloucester has plenty of time to get back from another mistake. They kick it off, and Smith at the 10, 15, 20, breaks away, flags down. And it looks like it's going to be another penalty on the fishermen. Flags on the play. Probably another illegal block or a holding. So Glossa will start this drive probably inside their 10 yard line with four and a half minutes remaining in the game. So they'll start right at the 10. So it's a 90-yard game for Gloucester now. All right, holding the penalty for Gloucester. Backs him up on the kickoff. But here we go, 4.36 remaining. Penny Ortiz, he gets to the outside. 
gain of five. The fishermen still have time here to, to well, I wouldn't want to say take their time. They're gonna hurry up, but they can still run the ball. First down five, no, excuse me, second down five. Five yard game by Pena Ortiz. The only favor Beverly did for Glossa was give him plenty of time left in the game. Handoff, reverse, Smith, and I think we're going to have a holding on Gloucester. And another flag, another holding on Gloucester. <laughs> And we have an injured player that Smith. Looks like he got something poked in his eye. But another penalty for Gloucester. And it's going to bring up a second and 15 for the fisherman. No, nope, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, second down in about 12, it looks like. Second down, 13. For the fishermen, deep in their own territory. Pass in, Nelson. Throws it out there. He's got Smith. He's got his number 16 for Gloss. That makes the catch. Calvin Spencer, the senior wideout. Number 16 makes a big play. First down fisherman at their own 45. Calvin Spencer, number 16. The coverage was on Smith. They left Spencer open. First and 10 gloss are at their own 45. Pena Ortiz cuts it up the middle, gains of about seven or eight yards. And there's still three minutes, 20 seconds remaining in this game. Of course, you can't make any mistakes. They've been doing them all afternoon long. It brings up a second down at about three. Seven yards for Pena Ortiz. He gets it again. He gets the first down and more. Takes it inside the 40, down to the 31 yard line. Make it the 36 yard line. And the fishermen are going to a no huddle. Okay, there's some sense of urgency now. And we have a timeout on the field. Okay, we're gonna keep it right here. And Gloucester Believe it or not, are still in decent shape to win this game right now, but they gotta cut the mistakes. It's first and 10 at the Beverly 46 yard line. No, the, excuse me, the 36 yard line. And this has turned out to be a very entertaining football game here today. Two minutes, 59 seconds left in the game. Beverly leads it 17-13. Gloucester has the ball. Looking to go in for the winning score, but with this game going the way it's been, you just never know. It's almost like you want Gloucester to score on the last play of the game so Beverly don't get the ball again. Here we go. First and 10 Gloucester. Nelson. And we have a whistle by the ref. All right, here we go. He's starting up again. First and 10, Gloucester. Nelson, first down throwing. Got a man out there. No, incomplete. Oh, they throw a flag for interference. The Beverly player was crawling up his back. So, let's see. First and 10, Gloucester, where's it gonna be? Looks like it's gonna be at the Beverly 25 yard line. Let's 
2.54 left in the game. First and 10, Gloucester at the Beverly 25. Nelson, Pena Ortiz, gains of about two. And we get a late flag. And I think we're gonna have a personal foul and I finally think it's gonna go the other way. Is it gonna be a late hit? Cause it looked like that flag came awful late. Let's see, what's he calling? Personal foul, yep. That's a 15 yarder. That's an automatic first down. And the fishermen are gonna be put in great shape here. Yeah, I know. What goes around comes around. Exactly. Okay, first and 10, Fisherman at the Beverly 11. With 2.43 left. So, Gloucester is in good shape right here. First and 10 at the 11, but... No, they are trailing in this game. They still have to score. And a field goal won't cut it because they're down by four. They're going to get in the end zone regardless of what happens. A great, exciting afternoon of high school football here today at Hurd Stadium. Gloucester versus Beverly. A quick hitter. Nice play by Beverly defense. It was a gain of about one. And I believe that was Mark Smith, the carrier for Gloss. He's down injured. And that stops the clock. Is it Smith or was it Pena Ortiz? I can't tell from here. It looks like Mark Smith. I still can't get the number. So we have an injured player, and the place gets suddenly quiet. That's Pena Ortiz, yeah. All right, he gets up on his own. He's limping a little bit. Oh boy, there goes your best player right there. With two and a half minutes to go, second down nine for Gloucester at the 10. And if you're Gloucester, you face a fourth down here, well, You'll be in tough shape because you can't kick a field goal. That will do you no good. You're down four. You gotta get in the end zone. Passing, Nelson, and he throws it away. He saw the heat coming. It brings up a third and nine. This is a big play for Gloucester. And, and Pena Ortiz is still on the sidelines. He's the workhorse. He's not in the game right now, though. Third down and nine. Okay, Filo is in the game now. Nicholas Filo. Handoff. Smith. Makes a nice move, cuts it inside. Did he get the first down? I don't think he scored, but he's close to a first down. And I think he has that. Mark Smith, are they gonna measure? Yeah, an official timeout, he's gonna measure it. Mark Smith would be carrying for Lockton. No, it's going to bring up a fourth down. He's not even going to measure. Oh, yeah, he is going to measure. Okay. And right now, this measurement is the biggest play of the game. <laughs> 2 one remaining. And if this is a first down, the fisherman can wait as long as, well, we'll see what happens. No, he doesn't have it. He's so close. Look at the ref. Fourth down, oh my God. Fourth down and about an inch. And if you're Gloucester, a quarterback sneak here, something. 
And Peña Ortiz is still on the sidelines. Fourth down and inches in what has turned out to be a thriller here this afternoon at Hurd Stadium. Up the middle, Argentino. And he's in for the touchdown. Brian Argentino, Glosser regains the lead with 147 remaining in the game. I thought we'd see a quarterback sneak there, but no. They gave it to Argentino, the quick hitter up the middle. Gloucester now leads it 19 to 17, and I think they're gonna go for two here because that will make it a four point game and that will force Beverly to score a touchdown instead of kicking a field goal because they have a pretty good field goal kicker. All right, they're gonna go for two. Smith cuts it inside, he gets it. Mark Smith gets the two points. And the Fishermen now lead it 21-17 and it makes it a four point game. So as the teams head back upfield, the score lost at 21. Beverly 17 will be back in a couple of minutes. You're watching local programming created by volunteers in your community, underwritten with the generous support of local businesses. At Glover's Floor Covering, for more than 60 years, we have provided our customers with real value in quality carpets, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, vinyl flooring, and ceramic tile. We're involved in the communities we serve and take great pride in our ability to support Cape Ann Television so that they, in turn, can deliver valuable community-based programming for Cape Ann. Join, volunteer, support. Local programming for and about Essex, Gloucester, Manchester, and Rockport. Support KPAN TV. Volunteer production opportunities are available in all the towns we serve. Get into local TV. Call the station to find out more. Welcome to Italiano Restaurant and Bar, located in downtown Gloucester. We specialize in classic Italian cuisine, feature fresh local seafood, and pizza made with our own dough daily. We have an extensive wine selection, a beautiful marble bar, and an impressive 12 tap system. And the games are always on. If you're visiting Gloucester, make sure you try Italiano. You can walk in or call and make a reservation, or you can visit our website at italianorestaurantandbar.com. Ciao. You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a Warehouse Club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card dental savings plan. Your smile will thank you. When your kitchen cabinets start showing their age, don't toss them out. Call PaintPro and make it like new again. The professionals at PaintPro will refinish and paint your wooden kitchen cabinets for a look you'll be proud of at a fraction of the cost of replacing them. At PaintPro, we built our reputation on our commitment to providing quality service. I take pride in delivering value through top quality, dependable work with excellent prices and reliable, honest service. Go to the PaintPro website for more about our services and our satisfied customers. Put new life into your home with PaintPro. All right, welcome back. And what has been just a thriller of a high school football game here today. Gloucester versus Beverly, arch rivals. And the Fishermen lead it 21 to 17. And if you're Gloucester, this last minute and 47 seconds, you gotta stop them. Dalen Locke, number 22, will kick off the Gloucester. And the crowd is really into this game. A little squibber. 
And, but that gives Beverly a good field position. They didn't want to run back because Beverly's best athletes are back there. So. so let's see what goes on here. Beverly has good field position, though. But time is on Gloucester's side now. 144 left in the game. And if you're the fisherman, your defensive backs better be ready because I think Beverly's going to go to the air here. 21 17. Gloucester leads it, and folks, this game is not over yet. Beverly looking to get into the win column. Gloucester looking to go 2 and 0 on the season. Next week, the Fishermen will travel to Somerville on a Friday night game next week. Here we go. First and 10, Beverly. They got trips left. Shotgun formation, so it looks like they're going to throw. And what do we got? Another timeout, Beverly. It's a it's a 20-second timeout this time, so we'll keep it right here. And how many timeouts do they have left? Not many. In high school football, you're allowed five timeouts per half. Two of those timeouts are 20 seconds. Timeouts. And I don't think Beverly has any of those left. All right, here we go. First and 10. Beverly. Quarterback keeper, look out. He's got some room. And the fishermen stop him right at the 50. And we have a late hit on Gloucester. Another personal foul. Oh, my Lord. Now, all of a sudden, Beverly looking in good shape. Oh my God, now the ball is going to be on the gloss to 35. And now Beverly's in pretty decent shape themselves. First and 10, Beverly at the gloss to 34 yard line. Wow. Unbelievable. First down and 10 at the gloss to 34. All right, here we go. First and 10. All right, first and 10, Beverly. Pass, throws it out there. It's complete, but he goes right down. So it's a short gain, and that can't stop the clock. So Beverly's in a hurry up mode here as the clock continues to tick. He didn't get out of bounds, even though the pass was complete. Passing, downfield, and it is incomplete. Dalen Locke, number 22, in coverage for Gloucester. It brings up suddenly a third and, and five. Third and six. Okay, yeah, third and six. And when you can't stop the clock, incomplete pass does for you. So 107 left, but it's a third down already. And you know they're going to be throwing here. He's throwing, he's looking, and the fishermen have him surrounded, but they're gonna get him. Are they gonna get him? Yeah, yeah, I think they do. Yeah, they're gonna bring up a fourth down, and the clock keeps on ticking, they can't stop it. It looks like Beverly is out of timeouts because they're not stopping the clock on a fourth down play. And they are calling a timeout. Okay, they had another one left, but it's fourth down. Forty-one seconds left. Is it a is it a full timeout? timeout Beverly. It looks like a twenty-second timeout because the t last timeout for Beverly, the ref just said it. Fourth and two, with a gigantic play coming up.
here we go, the play of the game. Fourth down and two for Beverly. They're gonna have to throw because they have no timeouts left if they run the football. Let's see what they do here. They're in a run formation and they do run it. Did he get the first down? I don't know, I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. It's first down Gloucester. Beverly ran the ball on fourth down. And he didn't get the first down unless they, you know, the referee signaled first down Gloucester. So Beverly has to turn it over on downs with 37 seconds remaining in the game. And give credit to the Gloucester defense on that last stand. And the fishermen are gonna come away with a thrilling, exciting 21-17 victory. That's if they don't make a mistake here. <laughs> the way this game is going. And Beverly has no timeouts left, so Nelson is just gonna kneel on the ball. And the fishermen are gonna get out of Dodge with the 21-17 victory and in a game in which I think the coaching staff, uh, I'm sure they're gonna be happy with the win, but let's face it, Glossa didn't play that well today. They were lucky to win this game today with all the mistakes they made, but we'll take them any way we can get them. Glossa will go to 2-0 on the year. Beverly falls to 0-2. 2-1, that's it, that's the game. And we'll have the handshake for you. And the fishermen are all excited over there on the sideline, they go to 2-0. And, oh. and what was an exciting game here today. We'll watch the team shake hands with the final score. The Gloucester Fishermen, 21. The Beverly Panthers, 17. I want to thank John Russ, my cameraman. I'm Phil Nicastro. This has been a 1623 Studios coverage of Gloucester High School football. We'll see you next week when the fishermen travel to Somerville for the game against the Highlanders. Have a great weekend, everybody.